Good morning friends. Today we are going to talk about deploying OpenSIP on OpenStack using Triplo. So first question comes in our mind. What is OpenStack? OpenStack is a collection of open source software to build public and private clouds anywhere. These are the list of basic services which is required to form a cloud. Keystone is used as an identity service for authentications. Nova is used for providing compute resources, Neutron for networking, Clang for images, Swift and Sender for object and clock storage. There are few other services involved in OpenStack. For example, Ironic for bare metal provisioning, Fourier for providing a bridge between container networking model, via Neutron used for orchestration. Mistral is generally used to provide a mechanism to define task and workflow with writing codes to manage and execute them in cloud environment. We can use Jakar as a messaging services. Overall, OpenStack provides a infrastructure as a service layer. Coming ahead, what is OpenShift? OpenShift is an enterprise Kubernetes providing container application platform on which we can run containers and deploy our application in containers. We can run OpenShift on AWS, GCE, virtualization stacks such as Overt, RHEB, Azure, Bare Metals, as well as or OpenStack. So, what is Triplo? Triplo is a project aimed at planning, installing, upgrading, as well as operating OpenStack Cloud using OpenStack own cloud, which can be built through Nova, Ironic, Neutron, Keystone, Heat, and Mistral, as well as other services. So, why we are going to deploy OpenShift on OpenStack? It's a general question. Since OpenStack exposes networking, compute, and storage services through API, which can be easily consumed to deploy OpenShift. For example, Sender service can be used to provide persistent storage required by OpenShift. We can use Courier for providing networking a cross containers deployment with OVN from Open vSwitch using Neutron. We can use Ironic for node provisioning and balancing compute workload. So, all the OpenStack services can be shared across both platforms. It's kind of a pass that is known as platform as a service sitting on top of infrastructure as a service. We can say it is a match made in heaven. So, from this architecture, who can benefit it? First is infrastructure owner managing an OpenStack cloud can easily manage OpenSIP on top of OpenStack. And application developers can spin containers on OpenSIP as well as when there is a need of VM, they can use the OpenStack infrastructure to spin VMs at scale. And they do not need to worry about managing or visiting multiple platforms at the same time. So, how Triplo plays an important role in this deployment? By using Triplo, one can easily deploy under cloud, which is also known as management plane or a all-in-one OpenStack cloud. From there, we can easily deploy or manage your own OpenStack nodes on bare metals based on demands. It also provides a very flexible and powerful combination of planning and deployment from day one as well as managing operations from day to day. Under the hood, it basically uses heat templates, Mistral, Ansible, Puppet and containers to do the magic. So, how one can try the same in local environment? In Triple O, there are n numbers of CIs, which have n numbers of multi-node jobs, where we test all the patches submitted by developers. We deploy OpenSIP using UnderCloud, Vite over cloud using Triplo Quick Start. So what is Triplo Quick Start? Triplo Quick Start provides a set of Ansible playbooks through which you can easily deploy OpenStack. So in CI, once the job finishes, it provides a reproducer quick start.sh script, which can be used to deploy the same scenario running in CI jobs to your local environment. So in Triplo CI, we use a job 
सिनेरियो जॉब नोन एज ट्रिपलो सी आई सेंटो एस सेवन सिनेरियो नाइन मल्टी नोड ओ पी जॉब लेट्स टेक अ लुक हाउ टू फॉर्म रिप्रोड्यूशन टू स्टार्ट डॉट एस एच एस क्रप्ट विच आई एम एल्सो एक्सप्लेनिंग इन द नेक्स्ट लाइट सो लेट्स फर्स्ट टेक अ लुक वॉट इज ट्रिपलो सी आई सेंटो एस सेवन सेनेरियो नाइन मल्टी नोड ट्रिपल ओ क्यू जॉब बाई डिफॉल्ट ट्रिपल डज नॉट डिप्लॉय ओपन सेट so we needed a way to customize this for this we generally use different types of scenario in world world files which are defined in tripler heap template and each of the scenario files is mapped with featured set files which lies in tripler start repo all the mapping is done in tripler ci project let's take a look let's open your browser open go to the url joule.openstack.org then click on jobs search for scenario 009 job so this is the job which we were talking about go to builds you can see here in the recent sections all have filled Let's search for which has passed well. So I am going to change the pipeline here. Switching to experimental. Let's see if we get any pass job or not. So see here, we have few pass job. Go to those jobs whose result is success. Click on logs. Then click on logs folder. Here you can find reproducer quick start dot sh script, which we are going to use. For the local deployment, we are talking about the mapping. Here you can see that feature set 33 is used. Node configuration one controller is used. Where these files are actually present. So let's first take a look where it's scenario nine. This job is defined. So go to GitHub.com/openstack/infra/triplo/ci. Go to Joule.d folder. Then go to multi-node jobs. dot yaml and search for scenario zero zero nine jobs. Hit enter. Here you can find the job definition. It is linked with feature set thirty three. But scenario nine environment file is defined in triple O heap templates. So let's go here. Since it is used in CI, it will reside under CI folders. Then look for the environment folders, and here you can find scenario nine multi node. Okay, I'm. From here you can see that like OpenShift master and worker triple hit templates paths are given. What are the services configured on which nodes, and other steps. Let's take a look where it features it thirty three. Go to github.com slash openstack slash triplo quick start click on config folder go to general config and here you can find feature set 33 see here the environment file from the triplo hit templates is used here and we have customized all the stuff here since it's totally dependent on the ansible role so we can easily customize it I play with the verbs where we need it. We were talking about the nodes also. Go to triple quick start repo. Go to config folder. Click on nodes. Within the node folder, the scenario which is used is one controller, one compute. Just the file. This is one of the simplest scenario where we are going to deploy. Where we are going to create two. Word VMs, live Word VMs. On that, we are going to do all the operations. Moving ahead, let's deploy the OpenShift on OpenStack. So before deploying, we need a machine having 32 GB RAM with fresh CentOS 7.5 installed. I am directly going to SSH into my machine, and please follow the respective screencast to do the deployment. Here I am in 32 GB box. 
it's a lot of use free memory okay cool so before de deploying first thing we need to do is increase the font size because you guys can see it i think that one is enough let me close this windows and let's come here so first thing i am going to do is create a non start user non root user say start and which i am going to use it user stack is created now let's set a password for it the password should be anything make sure you give the password which you can remember reconfirm the password now the next step is to make a passwordless with pseudo privilege how we are going to do that let's run this following commands and we are done so in the first command what i have done is like adding thing pseudo privilege to this user under this folder file and after that i am going to change the permission of that folder we are good now next thing is we need to log in as a stack user since we have created a stack user and from that we are going to do all the process here here is the file path next thing is that we need to install the required dependencies which can be consumed while we run reproduction to start.sh script So as you can see I have already installed So so I don't want to reinstall it but for your case you have to install it let me make it more simpler Yeah moving ahead since so what are the dependencies we are installing here if you take a look we are installing general dependencies like git wget virtualization sorters like qe kvm libbert libbert python libgit fs tools which we are going to use to do more precise python xml pol key ktla comeback virtual env gcc ip root libyaml libation linux python to interact with ac linux and few other dependencies cool moving ahead since we have installed libbert we need to restart the uh, enable the service and restart it okay so this command will enable libbert services so when we reboot this like it will be automatically be and we are going to start it okay we are done so if you want to check whether it's working or not let's do system ctl status Liberty. Okay. See here it is running. I got to go. Moving ahead, we need we need to generate the SSH key for stack user. We can use the command SSH hyphen keys in. You can give the password if you want. You can see under dot SSH folder it has generated. the ssh key as it is today next thing we are going to do is to copy the ssh key to the stack user at a particular ip 127.0.0.2 why we are using this ip why not local host which points to 127.0.0.1 because that ip is used for other stuff so we are going to use another ip which can be used for other operations clear it will ask for the password next thing we need to verify that whether it's working or not so for that we need to do ssh with that user let's see see here it's worked fine so we are good to go 
Next thing, we need to download the reproduction script which we have shown earlier, like here. See? For that, we are going to use wget commands. Cool. It's here only this. Let's take a look at the help of reproducer. We can run the reproducer script using pass. We can pass the flag help hyphen hyphen help to see what is there. So here you can see that W is used for workspace. Create VNV is needed because we are going to create a virtual environment from where we are going to install Ansible and from there we are going to run Ansible playbooks. These few things remove stack key pairs, node set prefix, timeout. These are related to the OpenStack Cloud. If you want to deploy the same scenario on in OpenStack Cloud, like if you want to create the VMs on OpenStack environment and there you want to deploy the same scenario, then we can use it. Here we are going to use the libbird, which is which will create two VMs for us. If we use auto run flag, then it will not only create VMs, but it will also enter into the system and run some script to finish the deployment, then it will stop. You can specify the node files which we have seen under triplokic start repo under config slash nodes folder. You can pass the additional parameters also. Moving ahead. The first thing I'm going to do is to run the reproducer script. So the command which I have used bash minus, minus x to call reproducer.ss script pass the libvirt flag then hyphen f in workspace and this flag will create slash home slash stack slash triplo directory and within that it will create a virtual env when we say true it will create it let's press enter and let's see how it goes and this will take around 15 to 20 minutes based on the network connectivity to create two vms once it finishes we give you the ssh ip to node 0 and further instructions to run some um, to finish the deployment so let's run it Since as you can see here, it has created the directory, it is going to clone the triple quick start repo and triple quick start extra repo. It created a virtual env. It is going to install all the stuffs from requirement.txt and test requirement.txt from both the repos. So based on network connectivity, it is going to take some time. It's installing dependencies. And after that, it will trigger the Ansible playbooks from here. It will check for the resources previous year found, it will delete it and it will stop till it finishes the operations. So what I am going to pause it and let's wait for till it finish. So the deployment got finished. Let's take a look what happens. So you can see here lots of things have happened like it created speed and it. Repo directories. 
applied to change each. Added the keys to download image and set the IP tables. Set some environment variables to rooted the host. And here we are. So here you can see it will say some instructions. So, so now the now complete the test execution on the undercloud SSS to the undercloud. Okay. And then we need to source the environment settings files and run the talkie gate script, which comes from github.com slash openstack infra slash triple cl source these files and run this if we want to avoid timer we can run it in stream or tmux session since stream is generally in installed there so first thing i'm going to do is to ssh into this host so I want to take a look where are my VMs. So the command which I am going to fire is sudo virus sudo virus list hyphen hyphen all. So worst command is not found. We need to exit from here and to run and to my 32 GB box. So here I can run sudo verse list hyphen hyphen all. Here you can see that both the nodes are running sub node 0 and sub node 1. Both are in running state. So let's SSH into sub node 0 here under cloud is getting installed. And after that, I need to source some value which. So I'm going to source it, which comes from the talky scripts. Then I'm going to run the talky. So before running, I want to say something. What is going to happen? Let's put a has here. So if we run this script, this talky script, what are the things going to happen? So what it will do, it will create two VMs with subnode 0 and subnode which you can you have seen it on the, by using the command sudo host list hyphen hyphen all. Currently I am into subnode 0. So what will happen on the subnode 0? Sub, on subnode 0, it will install under cloud and over cloud. It has both controller and compute node. Over cloud is deployed in containerized format. So when I say what containerized, it will be deployed from the Cola images. Cola is an upstream project which provides Docker containers for different OpenStack services. And from under cloud, by using speed stack user role, OpenStack will be deployed on subnet 2. On subnet 2, there is also a fake node pull mirror from where packages will be pulled and installed. Here OpenShift is also deploying in HO mo mode so that we can add more nodes to it. Once the deployment finishes, we will take a look into how Undercloud and OpenShift looks like. So before wasting any time, let's invoke the talkie scripts. So this script is going to first install the undercloud, then run the image prepare workflow, then it will deploy the overcloud. And by completing these operations, and then also it deploy the open on subnode 2. In order to complete the whole execution, it is going to take two and three hours. You can go for a walk till it finishes. I'm going to pause it and let's see. Once it finishes successfully, we will going to take a look at how Undercloud and OpenShift behaves in this deployment. So my deployment just got finished. See here, run got completed. And if you scroll back ever, you can find lots of things has happened. Like it has installed the Undercloud and the Overcloud script, Overcloud deployed script. 
configure networking, required OpenShift and all the other stuff. Okay. Moving ahead, here you can find the stack RC for which I'm going to access the undercloud. And here is the overcloud RC. And you can also find overcloud deploy.sh scripts. So let's first access the undercloud. For accessing undercloud, we need to source stack RC file. So we are on the undercloud. Okay, just a minute. Need to open the text editor which we have recently opened. Okay. So first thing I'm going to take a look where is my stack. So open stack stack list will give it. So see here, overcloud just got deployed. The status is create complete. Moving ahead, if we want to see where is my control plane network. Uh, the command is open stack network list basically. If you want to see, so see here is the control plane network, here is the subnet IG. I want to see what are the subnet associated with it. So the command is open stack subnet list. So on this subnet. On this subnet, you can see OpenShift will be deployed on node 2, that is subnet 2. Moving ahead, let's. Where is my overcloud image? So the command is OpenStack image leads. It will show you the overcloud full image and status is active, it means it's working. Moving ahead, I want to see the rows which got created on the undercloud. So the command is open stack row list. See here, uh, from this we have created all the stuff. Okay. So next thing is let's take a look at overcloud deploy.s script which got de generated during that deployment. So as you can see here, it has first sourced the stack RC so that it can access the undercloud and after that it has run the overcloud deploy commands. It has taken the libvirt type KVM and from that it has passed all the environment variables and triple heat templates. What are the roles files it has used, how much we have to scale and which user to use everything. Here you can also file the cloud.yaml file. So if you do cat cloud.yaml, so here you can find where is the cloud names defined. Okay. So let's take a look at the overcloud. So here overcloud is deployed, but there is no keystone configured that why we are calling it a type. So if I do over, source over cloud RC and try to run any open stack command it will fail because no keystone is there. Because in this scenario we are not testing over cloud but we are testing open shift that why it's just a dummy of a um, over cloud. Okay. Let's move ahead. Since overcloud is deployed using cola containers, how can I look at where is my cola containers? So if I run the command docker images, it will tell you a list of images which are used here. See here. Okay. Moving ahead. I'm going to log in into subnode 2 and going to play a bit. Concept. So in the starting of 
this cast we already sold told that OpenShift is going to depend on subnet 2 so i need to ssh into it so i have added the subnet 2 ip here so i need to take a look at the known host So I am in the subnode 1. Here, what you can find here there is so on the subnet 1 under Joule user fake node pool mirror is setup and the script use is this repo setup.ss script. Let's take a look how it looks. So here you can find like it has created the respective yum repos, configured it, set the everything proper packages okay so as i was saying openshift is deployed under a different username that is triplo admin so i'm going to log in under triplo admin sudo is u hyphen triplo admin okay so here if i do ls minus a you can find the q config let's take a look at the q config so as you can see here it defines the cluster certificate and the names of the users which are defined here with their proper ip so there is one QR also moving ahead. So first thing we are going to make sure whether OpenShift is installed or not. So the best way to check is to run the OpenShift command. So see here OpenShift is installed. So next thing what I am going to do is to log in into the OpenShift console as an admin user. And we are going to open this console by the end of this presentation in the in our local browser so the password for the admin is generally admin here so uh, during the presentation i have already created a project you can also add your projects so here i have run the command oc gate projects and it is showing that i have created a project which is active I can also check who is just logged in there. So the command is OC who am I? If I want to check the status of everything under that account, we can run just OC that status. We can also say it something got filled. One of the deployment got filled seven days ago. Okay. If I want to log out from this account, I can simply use OC logout. And if I also want to log in again as a another user, like let's say developer, the password is also developer. Okay. So if you want to create a new project here, OC new project. on stack demo okay so i'm going to add a new app also by using oc new app so i can see here oc status So here you can see this results like deploying waiting on status. If I do OC gate nodes, let's see what has happened. I have not allowed. So developer does not have permissions to let's take a look. Let's log in again into the admin again and run this command there. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So OC login hyphen new admin.
so I have returned as a Joule user. So next, password to flow admin, that's why it was not showing. OC login hyphen u admin. So we have the right position admin. Now, like I if I get OC gate nodes, it does not have permission. So OC gate ports. So here you can see that these are the list of ports which are running and one of the ports got filled if i log out from this and i can again i need to go to triple admin and here i can run as a developer and check the ports login a developer oc8 ports let's see how it goes so see here one is just completed, one is just running. Cool. Let's log out from here. Our next action item is how can I view the OpenShift console in our local browser on the local machine? So, for that, what I am going to do just Login as a root user to your box. I am here, here, and what I am going to do, I am going to add a IP route here So this is the command so IP dot add and this is the subnet of the undercloud of the control plane network and this is the IP of the subnet 1 through which we are going to add a route so a route is already added now next thing which i am going to do is come to your local system and install ssh shuttle so the command is pip install user ssh shuttle is a unique tool or simple very powerful tool to create or make SSH tunneling easier. So, since I have already installed it in our local user, so we are good to go. So, let's create the tunneling. So, the command is SSH tunnel minus T minus R. I need to give the username at the rate eh, and the box IP followed by, by this DNS okay i'm going to open the firefox browser and check whether my open shift console is up or not let's open a new tab and we are good here is the console let's log in as an admin and during the developer time we have created a project. We can see whether it's exists or not there. So, see, there is a Poover project also. As you have seen the status, this one got filled. If you come to the main page, you can see list of other images, languages supported, database supported, what are the CICD tools available. So, you can deploy it. And create our own stuff. Let's log out from it and log in as a developer because in developer mode we have added a project. Let's see what's the status. That time one was completed, one was running. Yeah, shift in stack demo. This is the deployment config. We have one pod which we have seen which is running cool great do we have any builds nothing let's log out from it and come back to the main slide so that is the deployment we have done which comes from the scenario now and where we are testing OpenShift on OpenStack deployment.
While deploying this scenario, if you face any issue, feel free to ping us on Triple O channel on Freenode IRC server. If you go to triplo.org, there are lots of docs, you can follow it and you can take a look at the audio project also from there all the open stack packages comes. I hope you enjoyed the video.